Hey, welcome back. It's Ron Doyle here with Google number 26 of our class sessions. Another free class for you. Invite your friends. Tell them to sign up. Join us at Gray Haired Tech's Google Groups. And today, a big announcement. We're going to look at today something that you've probably never thought about. How about if you create your own website? So today, we're going to look at how to build your own website. You may not be interested. You may be interested. You might just want to try it. It's all used with Google. Google owns a site called Blogger. It originally started out as blogger.google.com, but now they've changed it to blogger.com. Google owns lots of online services. Another one we're going to take a look at today, if we have time, is YouTube. Yep. Google owns YouTube, took over that company years ago, several years ago. Uh, but anyway, let's look now at how to use Blogger and how to get to it. I'm just going to go into my address bar here, my URL address bar, or what? For those of you who've been watching, Google calls it the Omnibox, although in all their written stuff, they call it the search bar. So I don't know. But anyway, we're going to go to the Omnibox and type in Blogger. B-L-O-G-G-E-R dot com. It'll take us right to it. Here's the start page for now. It changes from time to time. And if you watch it, it's going to be running through different things. Publish your passions your way. Publish just whatever you want. Start a blog, try it, and never look at it again. It doesn't matter. It's free, can be fun to use. I know a lot of families use Blogger to just keep updates. It's kind of like a private version of maybe Facebook. You can put your comments, your thoughts. People can follow you if you want to invite them in, or you can hide from the world, and only people you show can find it. So uh, let's just take a look, an overview of how to get started and how to set it up. I won't get into all the details because I know you folks are smart enough to find a lot of this stuff all on your own. Remember, you can always use DuckDuckGo or Google to find things. And also something I wanted to tell you that I mentioned last week that I was going to find out and it hit me like right after I finished last week's video. I said something to the effect of if you're using DuckDuckGo and you type something into the search, is Google going to record that in the cloud? Well, of course it will because you're using the Google Chrome browser to do whatever you do in. So anything you do in that Chrome browser, whether it's a Yahoo search or a, even if AOL is running anymore, I don't know, uh, any kind of a search, it's going to see what's going on in your Google Chrome browser. So yes, they will have that if you're using Go, Duck, Duck, Go. Moving on. So today, here we're going to take a look. You've seen these screens flashing by. You can create your own blog. We'll roll down here. Gives you some more advertising. Choose a perfect design. Get a free domain. It gives you a domain. Just like uh, we're going to talk about in a few minutes. In the old days, we went to doubleclickslive.com. And then we come down here. They say you can earn money. I've never... Uh, participated in that apparently because I've never earned any money on Google or anything, but I'm sure there are ways if you maximize and spend a lot of time working on it. Hey, if you're retired, go for it. Make some side money. Down here, hang on to your memories. You can do pictures. Join millions of others. Uh, it is an advertisement. You've got a help center where you can get help. You can always Google for it. You can YouTube for how to do things on Blogger. Specifically, it's called Blogger, known pretty well around the world. I'm going to go ahead and sign in, first of all, with my username and password, which is Gray Haired Tech. Hey, there's a hint. And I'm going to put in my password. So now I'm in. I don't want to add any of this, confirm anything, and I'm just going to say not now. Display name. It's logged me right into the blogger system. Blogger. What's a display name? I guess I will use gray haired tech. Why would I choose a name like that? Well, let me see. I'm not exactly sure. Um, Y'all think about it. You'll come up with a reason why. And because 
just because you got gray hair and you're born in the 1900s doesn't mean you're not smart and can do anything a young person does. Let's be honest, not quite as fast, but you can still do it. You Just because you've got gray temples or gray hair doesn't mean you've got brains that are gray. I don't know what color. I guess brains are kind of pinkish, but anyway. Gray hair text, what I'm going to name it. That's the display name. I'm going to continue to blogger. European Union laws, I've mentioned this before, but it's some silly law that Europe's domain text came up with, and they have to tell what cookies you're getting and all that stuff, and I'm going to say, yeah, go ahead, whatever. Uh, we're going to do it. You have to. Anything that's actually going to be seen in Europe. The United States not required, but since anybody in Europe could see your website, it's like most everybody's putting them on their sites now just to remain happy with the world. You'll notice when you go into a site, it'll pop up at the bottom and say, our site collects cookies. If you need more information, click here or click here to accept. That's it. We've got a title for our new blog. We're going to go title is going to be gray haired tech. I will probably delete this after I create it. I'm just showing you how to do it now. Address. I can add a custom domain or I can make it up. So I will say grayhairedtech.blogspot.com. So that's your address and it's available. So that's cool. It'll tell you right here if it's available or not. If it's not, it'll say, you know, try again. It might give you some samples. I'm not sure. But grayhairedtech.blogspot.com is now going to be a website as soon as I choose a theme. Themes are just different backgrounds and things you've got. Uh, here's one that says watermark. I don't know if that really has anything to do with anything like a watermark. Travel. Uh, usually when I do one, just setting it up the first time I do dark with white letters, it's easier for me to see. But I think I'm just going to pick this one because I've never used watermark before, never seen it. So let's say create blog. Here we go. While it's creating, I'm going to take a sip of Coke. This is if you want to go out and purchase a domain. Look, domains are the cheapest part of doing website. They take lots of time. This one, not as much because it's already built for you. But they can take a lot of time, a lot of input. It's neat if you want to share the word of whatever you're sharing, whether it's your religion, whether it's your photography, whether it's anything. Uh, you can share it online and just you look at it if you want to. Or your friends that have the same interest. I have one friend who had a Google Blogger account. He does photography, baskets, weaving, floral things. He walks and travels different trails in the area. He averaged 2,000 viewers a month. That's a lot. I don't get that much. So you can do stuff here, but you can get a domain to match it. Like if you wanted bobshair.com, you could go out and look for that and see if it's available. It only costs, depending on where you get it, I would say somewhere between $5 and $15 a year to get a domain name. So like mine now, uh, doubleclickslive.com started out around 7 or $8 a year. And once you continue to use them, the prices go up till they approach near 15, between 15 and 18 maybe right now in today's society. So there you go. If you want to get one, get one. I'm going to say no thanks. We're going to keep it just like it is. Our blog is now created. If I uh, want to create a new post, because now there's nothing on it, watch this. I can go over here and click View Blog. I am going to right-click it and say Open in New Tab, so I can come back to this one. So now there's another tab up here that just opened. Here's my gray-haired tech. Got nothing. Just telling you, here's the blog. View my complete profile, which probably has nothing. So here we are, gray-haired tech, no posts. I'm at the home screen. Simple as that. I will close that screen down now, and I can either go create a new post here. I can create a new post here. Stats, comments, earnings. Yeah, not going to happen much. Now, I want to explain two very different things. One is called a post, and one is called a page on a website. A post is something you just post regularly. You post every day, every hour, every month. Whatever you want to do, just popping something on. A quick comment, a joke, uh, a picture. A page is something that you want there continually that you really don't edit that often. Like if you go to an about page, we'll look at one later if we have time, we can go to an about page and see about the person on that website. If you notice, there was one even here, I think. Uh, so if we again viewed that page, this blog page, there's an about me page, doesn't really have much, complete profile, uh, nothing. 
my blogs, Gray Haired Tech, blogger since May 2020. That's right now. Uh, profiles. So that's it too. You can see my profile. Nope, that's it. This is it. So I can edit that and add information to it. So we'll see more about that later if we have time. It's not really that vital, but you can take care of it. You can figure it out. Um, so a post is up here. That is going to be something we're just going to pop on for one minute. So, or not for one minute, but it's usually something shorter, depending on how you like to write. And it will cycle through. This will keep, I believe, all of your latest posts at the top of your post page. And pages will be separate pages you can click on to go look at that particular page. We'll make one of each, a couple of each maybe. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let's make a new post. So here it is. It opens up pretty much like uh, typing. And I can just click in here and I can say, this is my first blogger post for gray haired, if I could even spell tech, ta-da, yay. Uh, I can go in here and look, you can mess with all this stuff. Uh, compose, I'm composing it now. I've got an undo button, a redo if I want to change something. If I hover these buttons, it'll show me what they are. So I can say like a font I can pick. I want to use, you won't see much different, but let's just say Verdun, Verdana. That's one of my favorites. I just like it. It's easy to read. Uh, I can go over here. I can click ta-da and I can say, I want it larger. Yay, it's larger. I can click tech. And I can say subheading, minor heading, heading. A heading is a big one. So usually I do it like this. Two, information. Ba -dum. I can select this or just click in it and say, I want to make this a header. So now that is a header. It's kind of like giving you a title to the top of it. Then below it, it gives you your text. So I've got italicize underline, which I'd never use. I am totally opposed to using underlines on websites because underlines usually indicate a link and when people go to click on that underline and it doesn't go anywhere it kind of bugs them so i would never use an underline anyway i could do strike through i could say nope it's not my first blog i'm gonna take that out if i want to strike through i could also delete it change the colors change the uh, background colors i can put in a link if i wanted to link this to a site i could collect select it click link and I could type in a web address like grayhaired.tech. I think you'll see that more later. Open it in a new window. That's interesting. If you've got a website and you click on something that you want people to see inside of your site, my sites work like this, then it'll stay inside of my site. It'll go to that, just reload that page to a different page. If you were like looking at a column, and you wanted to leave me a comment, you could click on the contact information and it would just open up another page there. If you say, open this link in a new window, it'll open it up in a new tab actually right next to the one you're in. So then when you close that, you'll be back where you were. So you don't have to lose the site you're originally looking at. You can learn more about the nofollow. I don't use them too often, but you can if you'd like. So I'm just going to say, okay, there I've got my link in. So when I publish this, you can just click on that underlined text. Make sense? So you can figure out the rest of these. You can insert videos. You can insert special characters. You can change the alignment. I'll click right there and say, let's center align that information. I can say also, ooh, let's make this, my background is bright, uh, is uh, brown. So I'm going to make this bright yellow. So maybe it'll show up. We'll see how that happens later. Uh, I may be wrong. Then once I've posted everything and wait, let's put a picture. I'm going to go in here. I don't have any pictures from this blog. Ooh, from my phone? I do have pictures from my phone. I do, I do. I'm going to click this one. One of my favorite pictures. One of my, now I wouldn't say favorite places, but I will say it was uh, pretty nice. There we go. I'll make it full size there, extra large. All right. Here's my post. A picture, some text, some yellow text that may or may not work. I can save it. I can come back and check it later. I can preview it or just close it. I'll preview it. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. And like I thought, the yellow shows up and it shows me here, preview. So I'm going to go back. It's just, I'm going to close this. It's just the tab next to it. it brings me back. And then I'm going to say, save it. I can come back and edit it later. 
or now I can just hit publish. It has now been published. This is the first post that I've done. So I can just click here and go to view blog. I like to right click and say open a new tab. Here it is, new tab. There's my post. New information. This is my first strike through blogger post for gray haired tech. Ta da! And look, I can click this and it goes over to my new site, which we'll come back to later. I promise. Maybe. Uh, now, I see a problem here. Look, it's covering up some of my text, so I can't make my picture that large. See how I did that? So, I'm just going to go back over to the other page, back here, where I was editing. I'm going to click on Edit. I'm going to click on that picture, and I'm going to say uh, I had extra large. What's the original size? That's way too large. Okay, we'll reduce that. I'll say large. Yeah, that's probably better. And I'll also left align it. That'll pull it over a little bit, too, away from that text that was there. So I'm going to say update. And then I want to see it. I can actually just right click here on view and say open a new tab. And it opens up here to the right. There, that's much better. I could probably center it and get away with it now, too. So there you go. Now, here's your web page. When people go to your web page, here's exactly what they're going to see on my web page now. Same kind of thing, okay? Uh, if I just go to grayhairedtech.blogspot.com, there it is. Uh, I may leave this for a while, leave it up for a year or so. What the heck? It doesn't cost anything. Um, you've got some menu items over here, and this will change. It's going to organize them by year and month of your posts in order. So if I had another post, let's go see. I'm going to go over here. My second post for my demo. Google number 26. Yes. And I'm going to hit this one like I did before. And I'm going to say instead of normal, I'll make it a subheading. It's a little smaller, you'll see in a minute. Uh, I can make it yellow again. I thought that worked pretty well. I might stick with that for a while. Um, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. And more stuff. Um, now, Let's see about another picture from somewhere else, from my webcam, from my Google Studio album. I've got some in here I could grab. Look, here, I'm going to pull this one in. This is the one that I use on the site up here. And I can also move this around by clicking it and dragging it. Uh, I can also remove it. I can make it small like we saw before, large. I'm going to go ahead for large and say center it with this toolbar down here and click off of it. So there we go. So... What do I do when I want to get save it to the blog? I don't save it unless I want to come back and work on it later. I publish it. So I'm going to publish it. I will go over here again. I will right click on the blog and say view a new tab. Here it is. Now, here's what posts do. The latest posts show at the top. So there's my first post. There's my second post. And notice over here, our little collapsing menus, if you want to use them, you can click here and here. And then I can actually go click on this post if I want to look at it, I believe. Let's see. There's the picture anyway. Can't open the individual post. Um, it tells you the time I post everything else. It gives you links for things if I've set them up. So you could email this to a friend. It would take you in here. You could put in their email address. It's a little tricky because Google is actually collecting their email addresses for future whatever. Type the message in here, and I'm not a robot. That's a pretty standard thing there, too. Um, so what happens when I'm at my blog spot? This is where it is. If I click here, it takes you over to my information, mainly because I'm logged in like that. If not, I'm not sure exactly what it will do. Uh, I can complete my profile. Now, what's a page? Hmm. This is a post, and below it, is another post. Two posts made by Gray Haired Tech at these two different times. Cool. By the way, that is not my current time. Uh, it's actually about uh, 1.39 today when I did that uh, PM. But uh, I have probably a uh, setting in here for that. Also, look up here. You can search for other blogs and things. You can go here to more, share it by email, share it Facebook, Twitter, report abuse. You can go down here and you can also say blog it to another blog, share it to Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest, which I have an account. I've never used it. 
Uh, so there's how you can do all those things if you want. So now I'm going to go to a page and show you how they're a little different. Let's create a new page. There's no new pages. Let's create one. So I'll just hit create here. It looks a lot like a post, but it's not. This could be your about me page. Everybody has one. I don't know how vital they are because I don't know if you care or not, but I've even got one on my site. So uh, we'll go down here. And again, because I'm going to stick with the flow, I'm going to make it a heading. I'll make it yellow. And then I'll go down here and say, I am a... Who started to war geekdom many years ago. Now, I just want to help others from the 1900s. So, there you go. And I can go in here and put spaces. I can correct spelling if it's wrong. It's interesting. Let's see. What does this say for spelling? Uh, I can't find the word. Geekdom. Sheikdom. Okay. So, I've got it. I'm not going to put another picture in there. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and say publish. Oh, I've got to give it a title too. This will be about the gray haired geek. Publish. So here's the difference in pages and in posts. I'm going to go back over to the other tab. Notice how it looks now. We did that page and it's not showing up. Only my posts are. So they have to be added in here. Kind of awkward, I think, but it seems like to me that you just have a link to your pages you pop in because they stay there forever at the top of the page or something. So here we go. I'm going to go in here and you go to layout. Okay. Here's my header already, where it says gray haired tech header, page header gadget. A gadget is something like this that puts stuff in. I don't want this one, so I'm just going to say, let's see. I think I'm going to leave that one. I might. It's probably down here about me. Yes, it's that one. So navigation bar, header, cross column. Now, here's what I want to go at the top of the page. I'm going to add a gadget, and I want to say, go down here to pages right here display a list of standalone pages on your blog so these are pages not posts so i'm going to say okay put them right here i'm going to add one for home which is already checked and i'm also going to check the one i added about the gray-haired geek i can change the order if i want to slide them around a little bit i think drag and drop change the order well let's see there you go so i can drag them around if i want i'm going to put home at the top and the gray-haired geek at the bottom. There we go. Uh, it says list of links. You can move it side to side, maybe. I don't know if you can or not. Oh, I think it does that on the page. But we'll just play in here and see. Uh, this will be an experiment for me also. So I'm going to say save. Here's what I'm going to look at now. Here's the site. I'm going to refresh it. And now we've got home up here at the top, which takes us to the main page. And about the gray-haired geek. And there is my page displayed. If I had another page, I could display it here. I could put it down the side. Uh, watch, I'll show you in here. I could say, here's my right sidebar, which is over on the right. Uh, notice it's got About Me and Blog Archive. That's the About Me, and this is the Blog Archive. I'm going to leave that in, but I'm going to remove this About Me. I don't like it. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to click Edit, and I'm going to say Remove. You sure you want to remove it? Yep, I did. So now when I go here, there's no save button, if you notice, and refresh. The About Me leaves, so it'll just have my archive here. So there you go. You can add in stuff, get in there and click around. Uh, when I was looking for it, I was just playing. Uh, but, you know, that's the way it works. You just kind of learn by playing here. So you can edit and change things around how you want. Uh, I could also add that over to the side if I wanted to. And I could say Layout. I want to add a gadget. I can go right back to the same pages, which is right here. There's other things you can display. Links, just post some text, your most popular posts, labels. Uh, you can play with all of these and certainly research them easily on the net. But I'm going to go ahead and click pages here. And I'm going to say not home, but I just want to put this page over here. I'm going to say save and watch over here. Pages and blog archive. So let's put the pages at the bottom. And I could add more pages if I wanted to. Uh, so the blog will be down at the bottom. My pages will be at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. I'm going to go back to my home. 
And now if you notice, About the Gray-Haired Tech uh, Geek is here, listed as a page, and it's also up here. I wouldn't have it in both places, but they'll both take you to the same page. Whereas, blogs are posts. So it will take you to the post that you just did. And if we go to the top one, it'll take us to all the posts that we've done for 2020. Or I could say only May. It's going to be the same because I just did them both today. So here's home. Back home, it just shows you the posts. Uh, it will show you all of your posts down to a limit. There are probably settings in there that you can go work on and check out here. You can change your themes. Just play and find out and do your blogs. Hey, tell us on Google Groups, Gray Haired Tech, where your blog is, what its name is. I'd love to see it. Uh, try making one. Don't worry about sharing it with anybody. Just do it. So I'm going to save my arrangements. Hey there, I'm sorry for the abrupt ending right there. But it turned out I went overtime by about 20 more minutes that you haven't even seen yet. So I'm going to cut it short now and introduce the new things that I was going to show you today next time. So at least I've got some of it made. And I also spent a lot of time editing. I uh, uh, stalled a lot. There were doorbells ringing in the background, people visiting. So it took me a little while longer. But anyway, I finished it. And uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great week. See you next week. And most importantly, be healthy. Enjoy life. <laughs>